like a, I can prophesy this man. You understand? Be careful of the spirit of your family that fight the issue of marriages. Uh, are you aware? Yes. Yes. So be careful. That spirit is following you. You understand? Yes. So tell yourself that you you want to do what is right. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? I'm here. Huh? Yes, I receive. Hear what I'm trying to tell yes. you? Yes. Because you are aware of what I'm saying. God wants to use you in front of your enemies. Yes. Because many people have discouraged you. Indeed. Huh? Indeed. Now, this is the time that now you have to be encouraged. Now, let me touch you here. And then I know that uh, God loves you, sir. You understand? The business that he wanted to do, yes. uh, which is not working well. Yes. Can you go and do it now? Okay. You understand? Yes. God is going to open door for you because you have tried many businesses. That's true. No one has ever worked. That's true. Eh? That's true. Uh, from now on, go say uh, you are released. You are released. You are released. You are released. Go and do it. God bless you. I saw this lady here. Let me pray. That lady there. Mama, yo, I'm seeing a trip to Cape Town. Yo. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Amen. I'm seeing a, a trip to Cape Town. This is like a vacation. You Amen. need to pray. Amen. You hear me? Amen. And another thing that I want to tell you about is the issue of your father. Because Amen. I saw that, you know, your mom was uh, here with someone and later on, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say to you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Mm. Because yes, yeah, like you've got siblings, but they've got their own yes. father. Yes. And I'm seeing a father before. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? It's true. And you have been praying that God, why did you allow this situation? Yes. So now let me tell you, whatever happens, it happens for a reason. Amen. You hear me? Amen. And there's the issue of the house. Amen. My mom has been struggling with the house. Amen. You people from today, get a small money, you're going to help your mom. I've already built about four houses for her. For her? Yes. There was a house that was a, a, a part that was roofed. Yes. And another part was left. Yes, I completed. That was the third house. Clap hands for Holy Spirit. <clears throat> because there was a room that was roofed. There was another part that was left. Yes, what I did... Me? Yes, what I did, I after roofing that house, my mom got money somewhere. Then last year, December, when we went home, we found she demolished the house. She mm. wanted to put a new roof. We don't know where. Can she, you hear this? Yes. Can you hear what she said? She wanted to put a new roof, and then she got neighbors to help her, and they took her money. Can you hear? Yes. I'm sure I'm not a friend. No. So now... I want to pray for you because my mom now, I'm talking about what is happening now. Yes, now she's stressed. stressed. Yes, she's stressed. She's stressed. Stressed. She's worried that why now? Because the part of the house now is like there's nothing. Yes. So now we need to pray, you know, that her heart must be fine. Because she already, I think she put the roof about three times now mm. and it's leaking all the time. So she has to remove it. Yes, because no one is helping her now because we already done our part. Don't worry. Don't worry. You people, you must just love each other. Amen. I believe God will help you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Out, you demon. Because I saw a small part, like one single room was roofed. In the name of Jesus. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Maganenisa. And with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by Prophet Andrew Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Maria Sigu. I'm from Bredin, Le Chabile, Northwest. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. He first um, spoke to me about a trip to Cape Town. Yes, I think it's the second time he's prophesied me about the trip to Cape Town, but I trust the Lord for that vacation. <laughs> Amen. And then the second um, prophecy was that... Um, we should gather money and help our mother. 
and uh, to finish up a house. So this is the, this is true. This prophecy is true because what happened is that I built my mom a lot of houses. I I'm not sure what's happening with her, but sure I don't <laughs> I don't know. The prophet said she's stressed, and I know she is stressed because. I've completed the fourth house and everything was fine but 2020 in December when we went home we found everything was down and she said she's changing the roof and there was nothing wrong with that roof so I think people just approach her knowing she had money at that time that she should change the roof of the house so I don't know, she agreed to it and they took her money and they didn't complete the work, yes. And how has this particular problem been affecting her? She is stressed because now the money is finished and she didn't manage to complete the house. So I think the Lord knows her heart that she's now stressed. But I think we, we, we have to come together and do something because I thought the issue was resolved. Because the house is complete, it's only during the rainy days that she will tell us it's leaking and I've not seen it but you know, it affected all of us because we didn't know what was the reason why she changed the roof. Yes. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and ministered upon your life? I'm happy to know God knows even the little details in our lives and the third prophet was that um, I think also it's the second time prophet told me about my father that I'm always questioning why I have siblings we like my siblings have their own father I have my own father so I'm going to put it to rest from today and how would you encourage somebody who's gonna come across this video that they should trust in God in everything because he knows every little details that we are going through in our lives so I bless the name of the Lord and Holy Spirit for revealing that to our prophet amen brother your, your art business. Yes, sir. You want to quit. Are you ready? Uh, Come yeah. here. I want to pray for you. If you decide to quit this business, God will give you another one. Amen. Because that has been your plan. Amen. You're hearing me? Yes, sir. That has been your plan. I'm seeing this is the art business. Because God has blessed your hands to draw. Yes, sir. You're hearing me? Yes, sir. So, but if it fails, God will give you another one. Amen. Amen. Because this is like a spirit of jealousy around you. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Imakaninisa. And with me here today is my brother, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon his life. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Fusi Twala, I come from Cosmo City. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simono ministered upon your life. Please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, the man of God uh, touched on the fact that uh, God wants to uh, help me um, start another business. I'm currently in the art fraternity, but then uh, I've been looking to diversify, so it's not the first time yeah, I've been told this, so I, I guess the, the board is now in my court. Uh, God wants to, um, uh, God's going to be with me when I diversify, should the, come, should the time come, and I believe it is now. Yes. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding an expansion in business that you want to pursue? Well, the feeling is always good. It, it kind of um, confirms and affirms that God, God, God is with me, understand? is isn't many a time we get to uh, start on these endeavors, but then we're not too sure how far uh, God is going to be with us along, uh, along as, 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 as we go with, with them. But then this is an affirmation. I'm very much uh, happy about it, yes. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently sitting at home who's going through what you went through before the man of God located you and ministered to you? Uh, God is loyal. Eh? God is loyal. That, that's one thing for sure. We've had like um, ups and downs, uh, hiccups here and there, but then God is always going to be loyal. And he's aware of what we are trying, understand? Yes. Yeah.